Romans 5 verse 17 For if, by the offense of the one, death reigned through the one, much more those who receive the abundance of grace and of the gift of righteousness will reign in life through the one, Jesus Christ. In the type of Israel there is a great part concerning the kings. The kings are the representatives of Israel and the top ones. The Israelites had everything of their living from the source of the good land, were enjoying the good land on the top level. These kings are types of the New Testament believers because all the New Testament believers were saved by God to be kings. God entrusted to the priests not only the speaking part of his deputy authority but also the ruling part. Thus, the priests were the speakers and also the kings. God, however, does not want a king to replace him. He just wants his authority to be exercised. So at the beginning of Israel's history with the priests, there was no king, but they did have the Urim and the Thummim. The Urim and the Thummim were a deputy authority for both God speaking and God's ruling. In the New Testament all the believers were saved to be kings, priests, and prophets. We can be such kings by being men regenerated with God and transformed with God as the element. We were God's created people who became fallen. Now we are God's redeemed people based upon his choosing of us, and we are also God's regenerated and transformed people who have been transformed with God's element to make us God-men. Now we are here in resurrection. To be in resurrection means to deny everything old to become something new and live by the element of newness, which is the divine life, God himself. In resurrection we have become God's new creation. This new creation is God's recreated, regenerated, transformed people. This is also the church in localities and the body of Christ universally. God's complete salvation is for us to reign in life by the abundance of grace and of the gift of righteousness. Praise the Lord!